This is EarBeater's exercise selector. You can choose to build in exercises by selecting them from the list. And on the right, you'll see a description of the exercise you've chosen. On the left side of the screen is where you pick the exercise type. You can choose between five different types of exercises, covering intervals, chords, and scales. Let's pick a chord identification exercise. And then hit start. Augmented. Sus2. And major. If you want to change the sound of the instrument, you can do that directly on the keyboard. And if you make a mistake, you can stop and review. Just tap the answer buttons to hear the different chords. You can also tap the notes on the staff. Tap the wheel to set up your exercise. The first option is Auto Continue. If switched on, you're taken directly to the next question after the correct answer. The next one is Playable Keyboard. If you switch it off, you'll not be able to play the keyboard before you answer a question. And the last one lets you adjust the time interval between each note when played ascending or descending. During an exercise, you can tap the info icon and you'll get a description of the exercise. When you complete an exercise, EarBeater will tell you how well you did, if you need more practice or if you should continue to the next one. EarBeater lets you create your own custom exercises. Pick the exercise type you want to create, tap the user exercises and hit the create button. In this case, you can choose between all of the different intervals. You can preview the intervals by tapping the speaker icon, and then you can um, switch on the ones you want in your exercise. Select the harmony, and give it a name and a description, and tap the save button. And then you can go ahead and press the start button. To edit, you can tap the pencil icon and you can add or remove items from the list. To delete an exercise, tap the trash icon and confirm. And that's about it.